Right. Here's what we're trying to build. We got this sort of chair frame that we're putting it on. It's going to be a rough sketch, guys. So we're going to fill in the mud here until this is raised up a bit. We're going to have a hole here where the intake is going to come in. We'll use a pipe or something to do that. Then we're going to step, they're going to put the pipe that I've already got now here. So these two are connected. And then we're going to start building this mud up and put the coil on. And we're going to build the mud up there. But we still need a hole to come in here, which we're going to do as it goes up. This is where we're going to put the wood. This is where the air comes in. And this is the coil. Ooh. Sorry guys. Wow. Bad handwriting. Coil. That's the pipe. That's the hot air coming out. And this is where you actually can cook. You can cook on the top of it. We're going to have the cold water pipe coming in. And off the top, that's going to be the hot. And then we're connecting it to a barrel over here. So the cold water is going to constantly flow this way into the system, go up the coil, and then the hot water is going to come spilling into the top of the bucket. And as the process continues, it'll cycle through without any power or electricity. Because uh, the cold water will naturally sink because heat rises. And the process will go. It's actually called a thermal siphon. That's what we're going to try to achieve here. So, I know that's a really rough sketch, but that's what we're going for. And stay tuned to watch it be built. Right, so next we're going to add a little bit of water. <laughs> what a weird noise. Right, while this dries, I just hung a string on here to try to hold this into place. As you can see, oh, getting a bit blurry. So that's just going to hold it there while it dries a little bit. And then I'm going to put that coil on top of it pretty soon.
See that? The steam coming off. We put um, a little camping heater next to it so we can try to harden this thing a little bit quicker so we can take these tubes out. But we're almost there. Just gonna get it a little bit harder before we take these tubes out. Yeah, we've taken the pipes out. Now we're just gonna dig a hole here for the air and dig this out so they all connect. And then we're gonna take that final top pipe out. Right, so we're having a bit of trouble getting the tube out, so we're gonna add a little bit more oil. steam and hopefully oh here we go look at that all right so this is 10 square meters of cover pipe so that's good that's it this should be a lot of water in there i've got a thermometer saying 12 okay so we're gonna put it inside this barrel, which is already steamy. Look at that. So we're gonna put in the tip of the thermometer and we're gonna watch it. Okay. Oh, look at that, 14. The outside water is like four at the moment, so 16 is a huge leap. 17. Let me raise this up a little bit. 19. Dude. Is it bubbling away. It works, man. It works. 22. Come on. 25. Try to keep it towards the top. 27. Because eventually all the water will be this temperature if we keep this boiling. It's on 29.4. Dude. And it's still going up. Oh, 30.2. I don't know if you want to either hold this or hold the camera. So it's just keep going up. So I yeah, try to hold it steady there. So yeah. I think if it's going to slow down for a second. Yeah, 31.7. All right, I guess we can call it about 32 for right now. But it's only been on for... Well, five, ten minutes, we just started this thing up. It's amazing, it works. And uh, the longer you keep it on, the harder this is going to get, clearly. Um, that's plenty for a shower. Um, what we're going to do is get a submersible pump attached to a shower head. We throw that in there, and you get yourself a shower. Hot shower. Yeah. 32 degrees centigrade. I'll translate that into Fahrenheit. At that, you guys, 102. Oh, 
What? That must be the bottom, or towards the middle of the barrel. As we lift this up, depending on where it is in the barrel, then it goes back up. So the top of the barrel is going to be pretty hot, where the water's coming in. But we have got over 100 degrees, and uh, you want to push that, oh, 104 almost? You want to push that to centigrade and see? Show our European people what the uh, temperature we're messing with with the old centigrades. Ooh, 41.4! Ooh! Alright, alright. 42! Oh my goodness. Now it's getting a bit too hot. You actually can't use this anymore to bathe with or whatever. It's a bit too hot.